What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be ceramic coating the new wheels. If you're watching this, I've probably already mounted the wheels in the last video that you watched. But since they're white wheels, I definitely want to ceramic coat them before I ever put them on the car. I've been waiting to put these on for like three weeks since I got them. I feel like it'll be worth it because white wheels always look dirty. So I want to be able to clean them as quickly and easily as possible. So I'm going to get ceramic coat that doesn't allow it to stick as well. So, I went with Gion Q2 rim and Gion Prep. So this is going to be our cleaner. I've actually used it on one wheel. It actually smells really nice. Kind of what you would expect from a citrusy type of cleaner. You get four applicator microfibers, a little application block. It's a little stiffer on this side, a little foamy on that side. Your actual rim stuff. Focus. Won't focus. Right there? No? Okay. Anyway, I have a feeling and this is just a theory that I'm working on, that the more detailed the instructions are, the more of a risk there is to screw something up. So I'm gonna look through this really quick and see how detailed it is. And I feel like that should give me an idea of how easily I can mess this up. It looks like we've got six diagrams. I think that's six. I don't know if I counted right. First. We're gonna prep our surface. So you may be wondering, why are we prepping and cleaning the wheels when they're brand new, when they just came in a box? So I was actually looking at these earlier because I was wondering myself, and there's actually quite a bit, you can't see it in the camera, but there's like dust and hairs, and I mean, cardboard boxes are not the cleanest environment. And these had to get mounted at some point in time, and, they could have been sitting on a shelf or in a box somewhere for longer than that. There's just all kinds of little bit of dust and fibers and all kinds of things on there that you just wouldn't even expect. You don't really see it unless you're actually looking for it. Yeah, that, that doesn't help. So what you want to do, you're going to take your prep and you're just going to spray it on there very liberally. Get it nice and soaked up. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. It really smells really good. It, it reminds me of like a pine salt, but you know, not so, not as citrusy. We're gonna let it soak in for a little bit, you know, 30 seconds or so, just to bring all the stuff to the surface so that when we wipe it off, it'll just, it'll just all come right off. Kinda hard to see it in the camera since these are white. So I'm trying to get some kind of little glare on there, but you can't really see anything. And you're just, and wipe it down. And when you're doing this, you can really tell that there's a really big difference between how it was before and after you cleaned it off a little bit. And just let that sit for a second. Nice and dry. Now I know I'm, I'm getting residue from my hand all over this again, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna do another coat and wipe it up again. Almost lost him. So now we're gonna do our second coat. Just a little bit more, not as much. Just to get every last little bit of it off. Make sure you get the lip there. I'm going to get the back sides of the spokes. Make sure everything is nice and clean. If you're like me, and you like interesting wheels, this is going to make your life a lot harder. But, I think it's worth it. Remember to apply an ample amount. I'm going to let it sit for a second. Just gonna wipe it on up and dry it on up. I'm gonna try and remember to do this systematically and go from one part to the next. And just make first I did the face, I'm doing in the lug holes 
whatever you want to call them. Then I'm going to do the sides of each spoke all the way around. And I'm going to do the main outside lip. And do the inside lip. The wheel like this. These little corners and all these tiny little lips are the hardest part. If you have NTO3s and you've ever tried to clean the crap out of them, you know the struggle. Those wheels look like a nightmare. Now, y'all won't be able to see anything with this flashlight, but it's really helping identify all the little tiny things in these corners that are just impossible to see in low lighting. One more little coat. See, I've already done two wheels and I've only used that much. So this stuff should stay, should be good for a couple of washes, a couple of prep. So here's the part that makes me nervous. The reason it makes me nervous is because every single tutorial I've seen on this says to not leave it on too long or it'll become like sticky and tacky. And when that happens, it can be really hard to get off. So one of the things that they recommend is to work in quadrants. So you can see I've got masking tape here just to kind of remind myself which part I'm working on. So we're gonna take our applicator pad and one of our little microfiber cloths and it, it kind of sticks to the cloth pretty easily. You know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, ah, nope. That was a bad idea. Boom. Oh my goodness. We're going to apply it on and wait 10 to 15 seconds for it to bond to the surface. And then we're gonna use a new microfiber to go and wipe off the excess. So what we're doing is the, the quartz ceramic coating actually bonds to the surface and then all of the excess is what gives you that sticky and tackiness which is what we don't want because then you just collect dirt and dust and then you're doing the opposite of what you wanted to do in the first place now i'm only going to do one coat of this because it just takes way too long if you're going to do more than two coats you're going to do four hours in between coats okay the only benefits i can see with doing more than one coat is stuff comes off easier it may last a little bit longer, but that does I don't mind that at all. Take a little bit. A few little dots on there. Woo! Smells like paint. Wait a second. Now when you're taking this off, you don't need to apply any pressure. I'm just gonna wipe it down. I don't really see how you can mess this up as long as you don't let it sit on there too long. We're going to look for high spots with our flashlight. I mean, it looks pretty good and even to me. High spot is described as like kind of a dark spot. I guess that would be on literally any other color wheel other than a white wheel. Kind of hard to say. I don't really see any difference there. Quadrant one. 
Okay. It's gonna be these three spokes. Be the sides. Okay. Didn't go very far, but bring this little guy in. Make sure we cover all our surfaces. And I can see this in person. You may not be able to see this on camera, but the it gets kind of a almost like a, uh, a matte sheen whenever the coating has been applied. So you can kind of use that to see if you've hit all of your areas. Okay, I'm going to wipe off the excess. All right, so there you go. We've got one wheel coated. Now, I gotta do three more. But I mean, that's that's pretty much it. It seems pretty straightforward to me. I mean, the surface does feel a little bit more slick. The most excruciating part about this is that you have to wait 24 hours for the coating to cure. I just wanna go put the wheels on right now. like. I don't want to wait 24 hours. I've already had to wait three weeks watching it, see, just staring at them in the corner of my living room. So I'm going to finish up as quickly as possible so that I can start that 24 hour timer and then that'll be that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave a comment. Take it easy.